Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. Hi Alex, you want to come say hi? No. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And if you haven't seen my other videos, I had some precancerous stuff burned off my face at the dermatologist. So I'm gonna be a little frightening there for a little time, but it's all good. I had a biopsy on my shoulder. We'll know about that in a couple weeks. You say hi. Hi. It's my baby. This is Alex. I don't know where Wellington is. He's sleeping. All right. I have a big old haul. No particular order. I picked up these eggs. They're Easter bunnies that break in half and you can stuff them. I love them. I may spray paint them. I may not. I think they're adorable. And I have a couple Easter baskets to put together for some family. So I figured those are fun. I finally found at my store one of these big bags. This is definitely equivalent to what I would get at Marshalls or TJ Maxx in size. Um, it just has a city skylines. I know that this is the London Eye should be so this might be London because I believe that is definitely the London eye and there's the Tower of London I mean the London Bridge so I think this is London if I had to guess it doesn't say let's check and then the bottom and the two sides are just white it just says reusable so I grabbed this I plan on taking this with me to Canada and leaving it in my car so when I do my shopping I'll have a reusable bag that's big and sturdy to do all my hauling oh I have a ugh, I'm pulling things out of bags here I went to Ulta to get some nails I found this display case it's for Hot Wheels technically for Hot Wheels or for your little um lego people but i also thought it could be used for some crafty bits it does click here so if i decide to keep it i will keep it if not i have a little guy i can give it to um so there's that and it is greenbrier they're really putting out a lot of stuff for the legos which i think is fun can i help you sir no um i found these napkins and i just like them because it says it's all about the journey and I think that is appropriate and they're fun for spring. I use nap, you know, napkins. Hi, you are a weirdo. Uh, guys, it's a change purse. Like my grandma had, I'm taking this little piece of foam out. It's like a plastic on the inside. It snaps. I, I was obsessed with these as a child. So I sure did pick one up. I don't know what I'll use it for. I love the vintage fabric, kind of boho feel to it. So I grabbed that and it's just bo it, oh, boho coin purse. Um, I feel like it would also be great in a sewing kit or am I cross stitching stuff to hold little bits and bobs? So we'll see, but I had to, I had to get it, right? All right, next bag. I just, guys, I've got stuff literally everywhere around here. Oh, ooh. I got this from my coffee bar. It just says ring for coffee. Uh, it's appropriate. I can also put it in my, um, I have on my tiered tray right now. It's set up like a coffee, coffee station. It's all coffee themed, I guess I should say, in my tiered tray. So I grabbed that. They've had those a lot. This is going to be for my backyard. And I'm gonna show you. It is a horse squirrel feeder I believe what you do is there's a spike here is you jam or screw a piece of dried corn and the squirrel could sit here and I'm going to screw it to my fence and I love that the Dollar Tree sends the screws like what there's been more expensive brands that don't do that but they send the hardware so there's screw holes here you can put it right on your fence and then the squirrels can sit here and eat I'll get that off isn't this fun? And it's very sturdy too. It's gonna be fantastic in my backyard. I like to try to attract some wildlife for um, 
my cats, they love to sit in my office and have backyard vision. There, now I have a trash bag. They like to see the animals. I found these little plastic buckets. They have all different decorated. You get two in here. In mine, this one has Easter eggs and I saw one with like a pink truck on it. And I think these will be fun either for small little Easter gifts. If you're gonna give something to somebody, you know, tiny, you can fill this up and then wrap it in some cellophane or you can use it for like a centerpiece. You could fill this with, I would put like a jar in here, fill some candy around it or something and then put some flowers in it but I thought it was fun and with the Easter design with the eggs on it. I liked that a lot. I found this wire frame, which is an Easter carrot, but it's orange. And I don't even know if I would like to do anything other than maybe put a bow on it and just make it very minimalistic because it's already perfect, you know? I don't know, we'll see if anything happens with it, but I got it to show you. You know, because we need all the things, guys. We need all the things. Um, also, I grabbed these paper straws. I don't prefer to drink out of them, but they're fun for my coffee bar for some spring color. Um, also good if you're doing like, if you do a floor arrangement, you can use them to attach a flower to the top, put some skewers in here and attach something just to bring some color. So I grabbed a pack of those right oh let's move this over here too if i want to do my thumbnail so i'll keep that for easter and then also for easter i grabbed some of this confetti it has yellow chicks uh neon color easter eggs and then these say happy easter and they had them in all different color I'm going to try and see what happens if I put these in between um, laminating sheets. I have the stealth sticky ones, but I also have the hot laminators. And to see if I can make like a dashboard for my planner or a bookmark or something for Easter or spring. And these are just little yellow chicks. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Um, but they're just, they're just little chicks in there and eggs. So I thought that would be a fun little something to try when I have a free moment. It's always fun to try to find a free moment in time, right? All right, what's in here? I don't even know. Oh, here we have, I got some goodie hair clips. These are name brand. Um, they're just little hair things. So I am growing out my hair and I'm doing the curly girl method. So to do like, I can put these clips in while I'm letting my hair dry just to get some more lift. Um, at the root or to hold it out of my face while I'm working. So I just grabbed a pack of the goodie hair clips. I did grab two more packages. Ooh, did I break that? No. Two more packages of these rope eggs. I love that they're not like neon bright and glittery. Um, I'm going to put these with some burlap ribbon and yes, so I needed I didn't need more, but I wanted a different color. So I think I have all four colors. I'm gonna have to check upstairs in my craft room and see. I know I got the green and I think I got the purple. So that would be all four. And what I plan on doing is probably cutting off the stick here and gluing them to the wreath for that. So I grabbed that. I did grab one more of these. I really like this and I love the size jar. Nothing fantastical about that. Okay, this is fun. So I think you all know, right? I work part-time at the Schottenstein Center. And at the end of the month, we're having Trolls Live come through. And so I grabbed one for my friend and one for me. I figure we can use the chapstick with a troll and put it in our pocket and the littles will see it and it'll be cute. So I grabbed two. One is strawberry chapstick and one is mango. And that's a fantastic deal, guys, for $1.25. And each of these fits on the lid, so you can pick what character you want, and it'll sit on top of the lid of the chapstick. So I grabbed one for me and one for my coworker because I think she will appreciate that as well. Um, I, oh, I grabbed three packages of these little bags. So when I go to Canada at the end of the month, I'm bringing little gifts for my table mates, and I think I'm going to put them in here. So I just grabbed 
enough. You get eight. And I think I was making, I wasn't sure how many I was making. So I'm like, we'll just grab three. I will, I use them. And I love that they're plain white and I can decorate them. And they make these little shopping bags and they are so fantastic for small gifts. Hey, 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 sir. That would be the big one trying to get under the tripod. So they make, you build these. I'll show you what I put together, but. I grabbed, a, I grabbed three of these because I'm not sure where mine are. I swear I had some, but I don't know. Oh, I found a wall charger from iPlanet. This is definitely not Dollar Tree brand, and it does say it's fast charging. But it doesn't give me um, 5 volt, I think, output. I don't know, but I needed it for my retreat. I have a something that needs to plug in to it for my light. So I thought I could just leave this with my with it. So I grabbed one of those. They're always handy to have around the house too. Um, okay. I would I found one of the little gnomes. I think these are adorable, of course, with the bunny ears. And it was funny, I went in and there was a woman looking at them all. And I had mentioned, I said, oh, is there any more under there? And she sure did snatch every single one of them and put them in her cart. Like, hand fold them and threw them on her cart. She's like, no, I need them. I said, okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. She walked around the corner and I saw her because I was shopping. I saw her, like, going through each one and picking them out. And then she walked up to me after and handed me two of them. And she's like, here, I don't need these. I'm like, okay, thanks. I mean, whatever, but you know, it's a dollar, guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bicker over it, but I thought he was cute. They have, and I only saw this one in blue and I preferred the purple. So I have a gnome. Should I use this for a thumbnail? I don't know, I have a gnome. He's cute. And then in the party section, you guys have got to go to the party section. I saw these at Target for not $1.25, but you get, they had all different, but I grabbed this one, which is a unicorn with rainbow hair and then a rainbow because I thought these were fun. And this summer, I my work sponsors the Pride Parade here in Columbus, and I thought these would be fun to have on our desk or something in the office. My boss runs the the coalition so I thought that would be fantastic for our department so I grabbed those and I have used these before and they're great you just have to be careful when you blow them up so I got that to take to the office for fun fact I will be going back to the office I think we've decided we're going to be considered remote workers so we're going to be considered working from home but um, we'll have to go in like once or twice, maybe three times a month. Not a big deal. All right. Stop that, sir. What is this? Oh, I went to Hobby Lobby. Oh, this can be in my clearance stuff. I bought this at, on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I was like, why is that in here? Um, I grabbed some Reynolds foil because I needed it. Not the best deal for 15 feet, but I was in need. Obviously not too much of a need because it's been sitting here for a while, but. I grabbed some Reynolds. I prefer Reynolds over the Dollar Tree just because it's a better quality. Um, I found, oh, these for summer, a pair of gold toe socks. These are the women's fashion socks. Um, they brought out some more. I had seen all the ones they brought out except for this pair. And I'm very much enjoying these. They are nice, nice quality. And the regular price, I think is like $7 for one pair of these. And these are size, shoe size six to nine. So these will fit me perfect. And these are for me. Alex, get up. Thank you, sir. He's laying on all the bags. I don't, I'm not sure why he's laying on all the bags, but he's laying on all the bags. Oh, I found garlands. They had them in a couple varieties. I think they had one that was just carrots and this one is carrots and bunnies. And they're all this buffalo check in different colors. The carrots are all orange and the bunnies are purple, pink, and teal. And then they had just bunnies and I think just carrots, but I wanted the variety pack. And this will end up on my mantle. And I'm loving that they stapled it on the back so they hang straight. So the staple is here 
and these will hang straight up and not turn. That drives me nuts. Okay, but also if you want to use these on anything else, they're that MDF board. These are really good quality. You can rip off that or cut off. He's wrestling with the bag. Cut off the rope and use these on anything. They're fantastic. So I grabbed those. Oh, <laughs> I got this at Five Below. I've never seen this. Dragon Fruit Lemon Burt's Bees. I have an obsession. I can't help it. Um, they brought these back, the jumbo, they're jumbo garden bags. Um, you know, these, I know some people can have mixed reviews on these, but I will tell you, I love them for repotting plants. I put my old soil in it and then I drag it across the way to an empty field and dump the old soil in the field and it worked perfect last year. So I grabbed two. I have a fair amount of plants that need to be repotted this year. And I thought, well, let me grab a couple because it's definitely a spring item. Um, I don't know that I would carry them by their handle, but I didn't have an issue with them and it worked out perfect for what I needed them for. So, and they're not going to rip. I think what's happening is it's ripstop fabric, but the handles come unattached, I think is what it is. So I, I have that there. Um, I grabbed two more of the 100 watt light bulbs. This is typically for me the time of the year that I, um, sorry, my lip. I have uh, Aquaphor on it. This is the time of the year that I go around my house and change out light bulbs that need to be changed. So I grabbed two more just to have on stock uh, because I do feel like they don't necessarily always have the 100 watts. Oh, that's... Uh... I also grabbed on this um, iPlanet a car charger for an extra to keep in my car. So I have in my vehicle a USB for my phone, but if I wanna charge more than one thing at a time, or if I have a passenger that needs to charge and I'm trying to use my GPS, they have to plug in. And the one in my car wasn't working very well, so I grabbed a new one and I'll just put this in my glove box and when we need it, we need it. I found the Lip Smacker Balm. And if you haven't seen, I will open this because I'm I wanna try it. I'm just opening, taking out of the package. They also had the um, boba tea, and this is the matcha latte. I didn't need them both, but we all know I'm obsessed, right? So it's just a little coffee cup. And then you unscrew it. And that is, instead of having to stick your fingers down in here or push it up, this one is like that and I like it a lot. It's almost like the EOS ball. It's very smooth and soft. It has like a sweet taste to it. And make sure when you put the lid on, you click it. If you hear that click, you know it's in place. And this is also the lid's not gonna come off on my in my purse. I love it. I'm kind of obsessed. And my lips hurt from the freezing of the stuff. So this is perfect. So I have that for me. I've done a lot of me shopping apparently guys, and I'm not mad about it. I found this in the, um, crafter square section and I don't, I'm not going to use it for beads, but I have a lot of stitch markers and I have a lot of needle minders for my cross stitch and I can put them in here and keep them together is why I purchased this. So a needle minder has magnets on the back and what it does is you put it one, you magnet it from either side on your fabric and it holds your needle when you're not working. It keeps it from losing the needle. So I have several, so I'll just put them in here and let's see guys, will it come off? You know, that's my, that's always my issue. No, it will not. I'm going to have to I'm gonna, well, maybe, I don't know, we're getting it. Nope, I'm gonna have to use my Goo Gone on that. So we'll do that, we'll Goo Gone it off, not a big deal. I have a big jar of it. I think if I picked at it enough, oh, I could, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to use the Goo Gone. I don't know why we're in this year and we can't just make things sticky. Come on, but. It is what it is. I'm almost out of all of the Sunkiss and all the drink mixes I bought last year. So it's time to stock up again. 
Um, I won't go quite as crazy, but I do, I have a 70 ounce jug and I put three of these in it a day. So I do go through a fair amount of these and that's my, how I get my water in most days. Now when it gets hot out, I won't. I like plain water, but in the winter to make myself want to drink more, I tend to put these. So I grab these two flavors. I assume that at some point my store will get the better flavors back in stock. Um, I got these bowls, Sunday bowls. I love them for my yogurt in the morning. I buy the big jar and then I can just, and these are paper, so they're biodegradable. And I just put some yogurt and granola in here and stir it up. And that's usually breakfast or lunch or something. And I, these are just adorable. They're pink with the little bunny that says Happy Easter. And for $1.25, you get six of them. So that goes in my kitchen. All right. Ooh. I got a bunch of stuff here, kids. We gotta get everything out. Oh, look what I found. Ah, it's a bunny butt sign. I love it. I love it. Little feet, the tail. It's adorable. I just love a bunny butt. So I grabbed that, you know, crafty, crafty. The drain stopper that I got at Dollar Tree did not work. The white one, the two pack, it's very hard plastic and the water just went right under it. So we're gonna try this one that has this rubber stopper that I think I can push down in. We'll see if it works, it works. If not, I'm gonna buy a real silicone one. But thought we would try it. So we'll try that. I can show you what I was talking about. So this actually is a little softer rubber and I think that's the problem with the other one. It was too hard, it wouldn't conform. So you put this in your sink and then you just push it, you turn it and push it down like that. And it will go into your drain and it'll stop. I just want the water to not go down if I wanna soak things. So we're gonna try this. So I grab that. Um, oh, I have some more Easter stuff in here. Oh, somebody, Kim Kelly, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, emailed me about these little cat dishes. I'm sorry, that, this is life right here. This is life. It's just a little trinket tray. It's a cat with, gla with glasses. Yeah, this is so gonna sit over here on my coffee table or my end table and I can use it to put little tchotchkes in because I'm a tchotchke kind of girl. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, I grabbed this. I love this amber color jar. I have up behind you some from the Dollar Tree and I try to decorate it with Dollar Tree stuff. So they had them in different colors. This says, live, laugh, love. And it's held on with little copper wire. It's just an empty jar. So this will get put somewhere just like that. Um, in the beauty section, I got some of this Your Curly Tight Curl Enhancer just to see how it works for my hair. They say this is a single use, but honestly, there's a lot in here. And this is uh, 1.75 ounces, and it says, free of alcohol, parabens, sulfates, and dyes, and rich with aloe and honey, adds moisture, and defines curls and waves. So we're gonna try this, and you do it after the shower. So it says, after hair has been shampooed and conditioned, Thoroughly detangle your trusses, toweling it dry, but leaving the hair damp, depending on your hair porosity. Apply a moderate amount of curl enhancer to your hair. So this is an after product. So we're gonna try it and see if it helps with my curls. Today we're a mess, because I didn't really work at it, but. Um, so a curl enhancer for me, I found the Crabtree and Evelyn. I grabbed, I didn't need the shampoo, but I did get the body wash and the hydrating body gel. These are great for little trips. Like I will take one to Canada with me. And if I go, when I go, when I'm going to Ireland, I can bring one with me as well and put it in my luggage. And these are great. And this is rose water and pink peppercorn. And this one is Caribbean Island wildflower. I did not get the shampoo. Like I said, I wasn't in need of shampoo. So I grabbed that. And I also grabbed another Dove moisturizer. I love these. I put them on my desk just to keep my hands and I can put it on my face, but I think there's fragrance in it. So I kind of avoid the face area. Um, I just put this on my hands typically. 
because I've been dry, but I'm getting a new furnace and air conditioner and um, a humidifier attached to my furnace. I did opt to have that. So there's that. All right, uh, more crafty stuff. I grabbed some green for my tier tray. I love adding greenery to my home. It's very boho. Um, I got two because single, these are not the best as far as fill goes, but two together. And it may end up on my front porch over my front door with some lights. So there's that. I just grabbed two. Because, you know, two is good. Two is a good number. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is a joke. I mean, it's funny. I, as I mentioned, I work for the university and we do football, but also in the summertime, sorry about the crinkling, in the summertime they have concerts. And we were given these hats. I swear to you, I have one upstairs. We were given these to wear. <laughs> so that they could see us when we were working. And I saw them at the Dollar Tree and I said, oh, I need one of these. I need one of these. So it's a joke. I'm going to take it to work. But um, yeah, they're great. They, they wanted to be able to see us from up above and also keep the sun off our faces, which is important. Will I wear this ever? No. Do I think it's hysterical? Absolutely. I love it. And it glows. And we all joke about wearing them. So I had to get it. Just to show. <laughs> okay. I found a beautiful notebook. Do I need more notebooks? We've determined I don't. But I got it. Because it's beautiful. It's so pretty. And the gold. And it just, you know. And this is Crown Jewels brand. We've seen these before. So I grabbed that notebook just for me. Now for some friends, I grabbed her son. These level one this is ready to read level one reading books and they're pj masks books i grabbed two i'm going to give it to him i think we're having lunch and it's just single words but i know he watches this and he'll be excited so i was able to grab two of these and the book edition uh this is ready to read.com is who puts them out and i saw several different varieties but i just grabbed those two for him and then I'm not sure who's getting these, but it's this book says Mama Kisses Papa Hugs. And I don't know how much these were, but this is a bedtime story. And it says as Mama tucks her darling little boy into bed with a good night kiss, he rolls his eyes saying, Mama, I'm too old for kisses. And she says, oh, kiddo, you are never too old for kisses. So it's a story of a you know little boy growing up. So I thought that was sweet. I have a, several friends with littles. And then here's another bedtime story. And this one says, Lord, help me. Inspiring prayers for every day. And I definitely know one little guy that will enjoy this book at bedtime or anytime. So I grabbed that book. And then this is Lizzie McTizzy in a busy day. And these are all hard books. So these will be fantastic Christmas gifts. Um, I just love the idea of gifting books to children. And Sarah, my niece, also gifts books to children, which is where I got the idea. So she may end up with some of these, too, for her friends. And this is um, the children's version of Alice in Wonderland, which I thought was super fun. It's Alice in Wonderland, a 10-minute classic. So it tells the story, but in a short version for young children to understand and very colorful illustrations. And these are all hardback books with dust covers. I mean, these are nice books, except, you know, the little readers aren't hardback. Now, I haven't done my haul yet, but Frugal Jay sent me some of these beads because I didn't think I would find them here. And thank you, Jay, so much. I still appreciate it. Um, but I found, and I found some. So I was able to pick up one of each, and I can't remember, I think... This one might be the one I'm missing. I'm not sure, but I'm going to pass these along. But I wanted to show you as well. So the orange have the carrot, which I'm kind of obsessed with the carrot. The blue and pink have the little bunny. And then this yellow has a ducky. 
Now you can use these beads for anything. Cut the string, take the beads off and make your own garland for whatever. But I love this orange carrot for um, Easter. Now I will tell you, there's a large gap in the beads. So what I will do most likely is untie probably down here, close the gap, tighten that down to tighten them up. But if that's all I have to do, that's it. So thank you, Jay, again for those beads. I was so excited. And then I saw them in the store and I was like, no way did I get those here. Okay, I found two of these. something else. This is definitely new to me. They're bottle brush carrots. Honestly, I'm dying here, guys, for my tear tray. I am dying. They're orange bottle brush carrots with the little raffia bow and the green raffia. Obsessed with those. If you see those, you got to get those. Um, I also found in the Easter section, these are silicone bakeware. You can bake in these like the cupcake liners and I am totally going to be making some little cakes for myself. I will show you when I get that done. And they have the Easter bunny face. I only grabbed two because I feel like that's all I need. And they did come in also purple. So I'm excited for that. To make some little Easter bunny cakes for me with my sugar-free keto approved dough. But these are baking. And keto baking does much better for the record. What's going on over there? Oh, hi Dubs. Much better in um, silicone. All right, do I have anything else here? Yes. Okay. Um, also in the Easter section, I saw this. We all know a push-up pop when we see it. These are makeup sponges in here. And you get one, two, three, four. You get five sponges, which I think are fantastic. So I grabbed one just to show you. And probably for me, um, I like to use it when I am putting stuff on my face at night. I use um, Aquaphor for the dryness and also for these. And you can also use these for crafting or painting or makeup application. There's a myriad of things, but I just thought it was super fun. Easter basket stuff, guys. Easter basket stuff. Now, speaking of, I was in one of my Dollar Trees, the one in Pataskala, for those of you who live in the area. And I turned the corner and there was an entire end cap of sewing stuff. Legit sewing stuff. They had a ton of the fabric rolls. They had um, patches for your knees. And I did grab a few things. So they had this. I'm gonna take it out of its package for you. It is a pin cushion, right? But you can, if you are, hi, sweetheart. If you're doing anything, you can, I would do it on my left hand because I'm right-handed, but you put it on your wrist and then you can put your pins in here. And when you're pinning stuff, you just grab them from your wrist or it can just sit and it's a little pin cushion. What the heck? This is Wellington's little tail. Hi, sweet potato. You wanna say hi? Hi, sweetheart. He said, um, nope, this is definitely not what I want, lady. <laughs> That's Wellington. Um, they had these in all different prints. Then they had all of these kinds of patches. And they had like American flags. They had rainbows. They had different ones. This is, I've only seen, now I've seen these patches at other stores, but this is all in the sewing section. And I think there are instructions on the back. Oh, I love it. I love rainbows too. And then, look at this package of needles. Look at the size of all of those. Those alone made it worth it. But then you get your sewing needles. And these are, these are the type of needles you don't have to thread. You just snap your thread down in there and it catches it. So you don't have to and try to find the hole. Oh, I'm excited. Should have bought another pack of these. And then these large ones I use for knitting and these are for circular stuff. I mean, this is a fantastic bargain for $1.25 if you're a crafter or do any type of hand sewing. Um, oh, great, I have cat fur in my aquaphor. <laughs> um, so this is a fantastic deal. If you're a crafter, it's all I got in the crafting section because that's all I needed. Um, I did grab, if you see these, these are fantastic. I put them in my car when I get a broken nail to file. These are just the Eco Tools brand, little mini bamboo, and there's two. So 
So I will take these to my car today and put them in there. In the, I have the little plastic holder. And then the last things I picked up were these little mini bags. So I feel like they've had them before, but I don't know if the fabric is the same. So these are little bunnies with the polka dots and the drawstring. And you get a two pack for a dollar. So these are perfect for a little Easter basket, put some goodies or something in them. Um, this is the same, but it has the plaid Easter ears inside, which I think are fantastic. Again, and you just draw string them. And then this one here, you tie the ears together and it comes with the burlap and you get four in here. So you, and look at their little faces. Oh, guys, I'm obsessed. You stuff them and then you tie their little ears, you tie the ears together. Oh, that is everything. Oh, okay, buddy, I'll hold you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul that, okay, 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 okay. This haul that I brought you. Um, please like, comment, and share. That really helps my channel. And I will be back again with some other videos. Have a good one.